hi guys you're welcome back to my channel today's video i will be showing you guys on how i made this beautiful booboo using ankara fabric mixed with asho okay it is very easy to make if this is what you would love to learn how to make please sit back relax and enjoy the tutorial and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel click the right button down below to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified so without further ado let's move right to the tutorial on the table i have six years of african print and two rows of ashoke from the six years i'm going to cut out the amount of fabric that will be needing then i'm going to keep the rest so let me quickly do that and let's move right to the drafting i folded the fabric selvage to selvage then i cut out the length that i'll be needing for both the front and the back bodies then i place the two on top of each other as you can see On my starting line, I impute neck width 3 inches, neck depth for the back 1.5 inches. I connect the neckline. Neck depth for the front 7.5 inches. I folded the ashoke into two. Then I measure it. What I have was 3 inches on fold. So the ashoke would determine what you will measure on the front bodies. So I have 3 inches but I measured 2.5 inches. I impute 2.5 inches on the front bodies straight down. After that I rule a straight line. From the 2.5 inches line, I connect it straight to the neck width. My client's length is 60 inches. From the center back to the sleeve length, I measure 22 and a half inches. I came down by 2 inches for the shoulder slope then i connect it to the neck width i measure 12 inches for the sleeve opening from the shoulder to hip line is 25 inches on the hip line i impute hip measurements divided by four plus 6 inches I impute the same measurement to the M of the dress my girl was asking me if it was from the two and a half inches mark I said no it is from the folded edge then I joined the marks together For the side slit, I measure 13 inches upward. I'm going to notch that part when I'm cutting the bodies. Then I connect the bodies to the sleeve. Next is to slant my sleeve opening. I measure 1 inch inward, then I join it back to the shoulder. Whenever I want to join band to my sleeve, I always like to slant my sleeve. That way, it will make the band to relax and it will make it look fine before cutting it out i added half inch seam allowance on the shoulder next is to cut it out i first cut out the back neckline 
the shoulder slope from the half inch seam allowance then I cut out the bodies After cutting, I will remove the back bodies. I notch the side slit where it will start from. Then I will remove the back bodies and continue with the front bodies. Next is to cut on the mark, on the two and a half inches mark. I will cut it straight to the neck line. Next, I will join the front and the back bodies together on the shoulder. I will place the right side facing each other. I first of all notch the center back of the back bodies. After that, I'm going to place right side facing each other then I'll take to my sewing machine and join them together with half an inch seam allowance on the shoulder I have joined the bodies together as you can see next from the center back you will measure the neckline through to the front straight to the hem you will measure it on one side only whatever measurements you have Add extra 5 inches to it. From the left over fabric, I'm going to cut out the length of the measurement I got. I'm going to cut it out on both the Ankara and the Ashoke. The wideness is going to be 3 inches on fold. Both the Ankara and Ashoke will be the same thing. The wideness will be the same thing. As you can see, I folded the Ashoke on fold and I placed it on top of the African prints so that I will cut out exact measurements after cutting it out I'm going to add a stay to the fabric to only the Ankara fabric I'm going to add a stay to it Then I'm going to join the two pieces together, right side facing each other.
I have ironed estate to the African print and I've joined the two fabrics together. The point I joined the two fabrics together is my center back. So from the center back, I measure 13 inches for the neckline. Then I rule a straight line. I measure the midpoint of the fabric, which is 3 inches. Then I mark it straight down. So from the neck depth, 13 inches, I'll sew on the midpoint. I'll first of all back stitch on that 13 inches. I'll back stitch three to four times. Then I will sew on the midpoint straight down. I've sewn it, I've turned it to the right side and I've given it a good press. So the part that the two fabrics join together is the center back. I'll pin it to the center back of the bodies. You can pin the lapel down first. You pin it from the center back, you pin it to the front before taking to your sewing machine to sew. If you watch my previous tutorial, it is the same way I sew the one on the mannequin. That's the same way you will sew this as well. The one on the mannequin, the same way I sew it, that's the same way you will sew this as well. I've sewn it. This is how it looks. I've sewn it and I've also given it a good press. It is looking very nice. Any excess you have at the lower part, you will trim it out. Next, I'm going to measure my sleeve opening. So I'm going to use the measurement to cut the band. So I placed the two together and then I measured four inches. And I cut it out. I'll take to my ironing table, I'll fold in half inch on both ends and give it a good press. I've ironed it as you can see then I'll come over to my bodies I'm going to fold half inch twice and iron it after ironing I'm going to place the ashoke on it then I'm going to top stitch on the ends of the ashoke on the both ends of the ashoke I'll top stitch on it I'll repeat the same thing on the other side as well. I've top stitched the ashoke on the sleeve. I used a matching thread. Make sure that you use a matching thread. It won't be visible at all. So this is how it looks guys. The next and final step is to fold the bodies into two then i'm going to sew the sides with one inch seam allowance this is the final outcome guys we've come to an end of today's tutorial if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so i upload weekly tutorial on my channel also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified until i come your way next 
please stay safe and remain blessed thanks for watching love you all bye